I'm going to tell you, I'm tell you what, what's really going on right here. See, tell it. it's obvious yes. that the artistic stewards of San Antonio have abandoned the welfare and the interests of the artists who perform here, yes. like our wonderful orchestra musicians, in favor of the financial needs of the Tobin Center. Yeah, right. And, yeah, that's what they're doing. And the selfish people who run it, and the selfish people who feed it. But here in San Antonio, our trail of tears leads directly to the Tobin Center management uh, itself, the pr those priorities, and particularly its head honcho. I'll talk, I'll talk about this. Talk Michael, about Michael Pressure. Yeah. You know who that is? Michael Pressure. Here's, here's a guy supposed to be doing everything humanly possible to promote and preserve and defend the interest of the center's seven resident companies. But like the symphony, I'm talking about the symphony and the opera and the ballet, Ballet San Antonio, it, which if he did that, that would naturally improve the relationship between the musicians and the singers and the dancers of those companies and their management. Don't you see? I mean, that, that would improve everything. Just before the pandemic, just before the pandemic, Fresher announced the creation of a thing called Tobin Entertainment. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ever heard of that? Uh -huh. You know what Tobin Entertainment is? So they can, quote, here's a quote, book and promote more lucrative events and generate more revenue really? for the center. Oh. Yeah, no, I got that off the, off the web. For themselves. Yeah, and, and if you look between the lines, what he's saying is the resident companies aren't making enough money for them. Absolutely. And he's saying... You know, that, that, you know, oh, by the way, guess who the CEO of uh, Tobin Entertainment is? Uh, Bruce Michael Fresher. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, I, I, I mean, instead of, so instead of filling a day, you know, you got an open day, and you got an open day in the hall across the street. And instead of, like, going back to the symphony, the opera, the ballet, you've got your own booking agency. And, you know, they could book somebody in there. You know, they could book Lyle Lovett or Bonnie Wright or whoever. I'm not saying those are not good choices. But, hey, what about the reason that they built this place right. in the first place? Yeah. 